Hi, I'm Carolyn Griffin, and I'm one of the designers behind the double strip ruler for Creative Grids. With the double strip ruler, we worked with four and a half inch strips. And you can see here one of the quilts made using that. With the single strip ruler, we get to work with two and a half inch strips. And this is a quilt made using that. Let's look at the ruler. First, here's the double strip. See, four and a half inch high. And here's our little single strip. As with all Creative Grid rulers, we have the embedded grip on the back that will help hold your ruler still. When you want it to be still, move when you want it to move. When you put pressure on it, that ruler's going to stay. Also with um, Creative Grid rulers, we have the turnaround feature. One side of the ruler can be used to cut two and a half inch strips here, and then when you turn the ruler around, you use it to cut your actual shape. With the get that out of the way and bring a strip in and you can see. With the strip rulers there are also these circles, cut out areas here, and the reason for those is so that you can cut all the way across a strip without ever running into the ruler. Here, let me show you how we'll do some cutting. I have two strips here stacked up, so there are four layers, and that is as many layers that I'll, as I'll work with. And the reason for that is I want some accuracy and I want control when I come off of that stack of fabric, and any more than four, I think I would probably have more of a tendency to run into the ruler. So here we're going to cut our first, dance over, cut our second, dance back, so I'm cutting a little more slowly when I'm coming back towards the ruler. Oops. And you always want to make sure that your uh, blade is exactly perpendicular, straight up and down against the ruler. Here, here, those are tumblers, and underneath here are the exact same size tumblers. So you can see how quickly you can cut strips into little tumblers. But let's see what else you can do. Here we have a stack of two and a half inch squares, and I'm sure you have collections of these. You can put the ruler on one of these two and a half inch squares, and I'll cut yeah, three or four at the same time, and we can cut these into tumblers with just a little bit of waste. And you'll see that right here, those corners are cut off just a little bit, and that's okay, because that's hidden in your seam allowance, and we'll put them together like that. You can also work with five-inch charm squares. We will use the ruler to cut this into two two-and-a-half-inch strips, so I can cut this straight. There we go. One two and a half inch strip. And here's our second. Now we can stack these two up, turn the ruler around, and I'll be able to cut that five inch charm square into four little tumblers. And back and over again. Again with very little waste, I've cut my pieces ready for my project. So let's look at some projects made using this tool. First of all, from those two and a half inch squares, I put them together in a random fashion, added on a two and a half inch border, brought my back to the front, and I have a placemat. Behind me here, this is all made from a jelly roll or a bally pop or any collection of 40 to 42 two and a half inch strips. You saw how quickly we can cut those up, then it's just sewing straight seams, putting these all together in a row and then sewing the rows together, and you've got a nice size lap quilt ready to go. Another trick I discovered while playing with this tool 
is that you don't have to cut every single space. You can do some skipping. So we'll cut here, skip, skip, cut here, skip, skip, cut here, skip, skip, and cut here. And we have these wide tumblers. And this is what I've used in this placemat. You can see here's my wide tumblers in the middle, complemented by narrow tumblers coming down in a row. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll enjoy using the single strip tumbler as much as you have the double strip tumbler. <laughs>